Ah, uh, it'd be so cool if I could buy that red flame bowling shirt for my mom for Mother's Day. Your mom likes bowling? Oh, yeah. She taught me everything I know. Uh, I wish I could afford that shirt. Yeah, $35 is a lot. Hey, there's a sale today. 20% off. That's awesome. Yeah, but I've only got $30. I wonder if that's enough to buy the shirt, even with the sale. Why don't you just figure out the sale price? Um, I'm not really sure how to do percent stuff. I'll help you. All we need to do is figure out what 20% of $35 is. Then the rest is easy. Let's start with 100%. It means all of something, or the whole thing. Like all the questions on a test, or a whole pizza. Or the whole $35 for the red flame shirt? Yeah, and 20% is part of that, or 20 hundredths of the price. In fact, percent means part out of 100, the whole amount. Part out of the whole, just like fractions. Yep, in fact, that's our next step, to write the percent as a fraction. 20% is the same as 20 hundredths, or 20 over 100. Hey, we can simplify that. Yep, by dividing the numerator and denominator by 20. Oh, yeah, one-fifth. Now we can figure out how much 20% is. We multiply the original price by one-fifth. That's 35 fifths. Now just simplify again to get the dollar amount. Seven dollars. Nice. You know, we could have written 20% as a decimal, too. 0. 0.20. And then multiplied the price by the decimal instead of the fraction? Exactly. In fact, decimals usually work better when you're figuring out money. Let's try it to be sure. Wait, 700? Don't forget, you're multiplying by hundredths, so you need to move the decimal point two digits to the left. Right, seven dollars. So to get the sale price, we subtract seven dollars from the original price of the shirt? Yes! The sale price is only $28! I can buy it! Uh-oh. I hate to tell you this, Sam. We forgot to figure in sales tax. Oh, no. How much? I'm pretty sure it's 6%. Come on, let's figure it out. Okay. 6% is 6 hundredths. That's .06 times $28 is... 1.68. Move the decimal. $1.68. So $28 plus $1.68 tax is $29.68. Just enough. Come on, let's buy it. All right, but first, how about we go over all this percent stuff one more time? Good idea. I guess the most important thing to remember is that percent means part of 100. So 20% is the same as 20 hundredths. You can write a percent as a decimal, like 0.20, or you can write it as a fraction, like 20 over 100. Gotta remember to simplify the fraction if you can. Then use either to multiply the number. Sam, you amaze me. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now let's buy that shirt.